Well, what a treat I've got today. I have managed to get myself onto an old walled garden from a sort of big manor house in Perthshire in Scotland. It's about the size of about half a football pitch and it's just gone wild. But the house and the surrounding land dates back to the medieval period. And there's even been a couple of Roman coins off of the surrounding land, the owner tells me. So it's just me today. I'm still in Perthshire, shock horror. But let's see if we can find any old treasures. There is a lot of trash, a lot of iron and bits of old melted aluminum or aluminium floating around. And uh, I've had a bit of a play about with the settings, but I think I might finally have winkled out a better signal. And it does sound a wee bit coin-like. Let's see what we get. Here we are. Popped out straight away. Looks like it's probably been an oval shape. It's got this little suspension loop at the top. Maybe mounted on metal or timber like that. I'm not sure. What do you reckon? It's quite crudely made, so might have a little bit of edge to it. What do you reckon? And we might have our first coin. Didn't even sound like a great signal. But then again, I have changed the settings. Definitely looks coin-like. Too big to be a button, surely. That is a coin. So we've got our first coin. Brilliant. Let's give it a wee rub-a-dub, see what we get. You know, the rain is pouring down, but I don't care. Always great to get your first coin, especially on a new permission. Georgius the fifth george the fifth de gratia by the grace of god king of the britons defender of the faith emperor of india so this is george the fifth it's going to put it sometime 1910 through to the 1930s well it's a late one 1935 pretty sure he died sometime around then we have got one penny with britannia seated so that's great I'm sure the owner of the property will be really happy just with this because it's a nice bit of history. It's almost a hundred years old. Superb. The rain is pouring down, but you know what? I'm not caring. I've got another good signal. Starting to get my ear in. Let's see what we get this time. It popped out straight away and I think we've got coin number two. A bit cruder made. I think it's going to be quite toasty. It's going to be difficult to see any detail, especially as I'll struggle to get the coin dry with this rain, but I think this could be a wee Georgian halfpenny. Now let's see what we get. I take back what I said about <laughs> not caring about the rain. The rain <laughs> has just been torrential. Um, you need to take my word for it. There is a head there look into the right hand side i just can't keep the coin dry enough to show the detail but on the reverse you can just make out britannia seated you see the head and the bust there so that is george the third it's a half penny so it's going to be 1760 to 1820 george the third on the throne for 60 years famous for the madness of king george Hyphoria, I think they reckon it was, that he suffered from. And they had bouts of mental health problems. His son, the Prince Regent, took the throne about 10 years early um, because his father, George III, was deemed to be incapable. He also famously lost the American colonies. Married a woman called Prince Charlotte, and uh, had never seen her before. Half an hour before the wedding, he met her for the first time. Courtiers described her as quite plump and not particularly good looking. She spoke German, he spoke English. He didn't speak German and she didn't speak English. They went on to have 15 children, so 
and language is not always a barrier. Still, two coins. Fantastic. We've got a knob. We've got a doorknob, I believe. Probably going to be Georgian or Victorian in date, so what, sometime between the 1715 through to the early 1900s. Someone probably just brought an old door out here, set it on fire, and all that remains is the fittings. But I think the rain has beaten me, really struggling, because I'm uh, just worried that I'm going to end up getting water into either my recording equipment or my metal detector. So I think I'm going to leave it there today, but let's see what else we can turn up if the rain stops. I'll be back.